Hello everyone and welcome to another Meta Ads video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to connect a lead form from Facebook and Instagram to Google Sheets so that your sales team can follow up with all these leads in real time. Before we go there and we go straight to the point, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. Quick disclaimer, in order to connect your Facebook or Instagram lead forms with Google Sheets through Zapier, you need to have the paid version of Zapier. Now, what do you need? Obviously, you need at least one instant form, at least one lead form. So here I have a couple that we can work with as an example. So I have this form that is relevant to co-founders matching. And this form has certain basically custom questions also. So we want every time that somebody fills in this form, we want to connect and transfer this data to this Google Sheets. So you need a Facebook or Instagram lead form and you need obviously a Google Sheets document. Here I'm going to name it test generation. And then here in this Google Sheets form, we need to create columns as per the fields that we have in meta ads, right? Meaning here we have an instant form and we have certain questions. For example, what are you looking for? And the user is going to fill in this question. So this is going to be my first column here, right? So what are you looking for? And then I need to also create columns for every other field that my lead form actually includes. So let's see here what other questions we ask the user. So first name, email, and phone number. So first name, email, and phone number. So I'm going to create basically a Google Sheet with all the fields and all the questions that are included in my Facebook lead form. So this is going to be here my setup. So I have now this Google Sheets that is called Test Lead Generation. I have a lead form which is called basically here co-founders matching with certain questions. The next step now is we need to go to Zapier. So as I said before, you need to have the paid version of the tool to make this happen. So for those of you who do, you can go to Zaps or you can click basically to create a Zap. So let's say we're going to create a new Zap. And once we create a new Zap, then we need to go through the customization. So here in terms of the trigger, you are going to select Facebook lead ads. And you can see here it says premium, right? So you're going to select Facebook lead ads. The next thing you need to do now is you need to click here on event and you need to say new lead. So basically this means that every time there is a new lead, we need to transfer the data somewhere. Then we're going to continue. And then here we need to connect with our account, right? So we need to choose basically our account. If this is the first time you do this, then the system will prompt you to log in to your meta ads and therefore establish a connection. Then we're going to continue. And then here we're going to select our page. So in which page this lead form lives. So it lives in my page. And then here we're going to select the form. So here, for example, we're going to uh, select co-founders matching. This is the form that we want to connect with Google Sheets. And then I'm going to continue. Now, the system is going to test the trigger just to make sure that everything, for example, works as expected. So then this is something that you should also do. And if the system says we found a lead, means that the connection is established. Now to the next step. What we want to do, once somebody submits basically a lead, we want as the second action to connect this to Google Sheets, to transfer this data to Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets. I'm going to say here that every time that somebody submits the form, I want to send this data to Google Sheets and I want to create a new spreadsheet row. This is the selection you need to choose under event. Then you are going to continue. And obviously, you're going to choose the account that you want to work with, right? So again, if this is the first time that you do this, the system will prompt you to log in. Once you select your account, then we need to select the document that we want to use, right? So from my drive, I want to select the spreadsheet. We already created a spreadsheet called test 
lead generation and I'm going to select this spreadsheet. And I'm going to select the worksheet also, like the tab. So here we have only one tab, which is called sheet number one, right? So that's what I'm going to select. And here you can see that the system has the columns that I basically created in my Google Sheets. So in my Google Sheets, we have the column that is called, what are you looking for? First name, email, phone number. So what we're going to do next is we're going to say what type of data we want to transfer under every column. So under what you are looking for, I'm going to click here and I am going to select basically the question in my form, right? Which is what are you looking for? The data are going to go and basically transferred under this column. Under first name, I'm going to include the data relevant to first name. Under email, I'm going to include the data under email. And under phone number, I'm going to include the data from my Facebook lead form, which is relevant to phone number. Then I'm going to continue. And now we can test this action. We can test the connection. We can click here, test action. Even if you have no form submissions, the system will basically create a dummy submission. And now that the system created a dummy submission, we can come here to our Google Sheets. And here you can see that the data are transferred. Now everything is done. What we have to do next is we have to give this up a name. So you can name it whatever you want. You can publish and activate this up. And that's it. So with this setup, every time that somebody submits a lead form on Facebook slash Instagram, then the data in real time will be connected, will be transferred basically to this Google Sheet. And obviously, you can imagine you can share the link with your sales team. Your sales team can follow up with these people in real time, right? So no matter how many questions you have, you can include more columns and you can transfer all the data in real time in Google Sheets. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm also going to include the steps in the video description. Have a great day in any time zone. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.